Hey, what's going on everybody? This video serves as a practice project. Given a radius, we'll calculate a circle's area, a sphere's surface area, and a sphere's volume once a user enters in a radius. Let's get started. We'll need to include the following header file. Include math.h. This header file, it contains a lot of useful functions related to math. In this program, let's declare the different variables we'll need. Let's start with the radius. Our radius will be of the double data type. I'll go ahead and initialize this right away. 0.0. .0. We'll need an area. Double area equals 0, 0.0. We'll be working with pi. We can declare that. Double pi equals 3.14159. That's good enough. If you have a variable and you don't want to be able to overwrite that variable, you can use the const keyword, meaning constant. Now we can't accidentally change the value of pi. Oh, and then a good practice for constants is to make them all uppercase. That's a mini lesson for you today. Using the radius and pi, we can calculate the area. A user is going to type in the radius. We'll need a prompt, printf, enter the radius, and then scanf to accept it. Scanf. We're accepting a double, not just a floating point number, we'll use LF. At the address of our radius, we'll insert a value there. To calculate the area of a circle, here's the formula. Area equals pi. Now we have to take radius times radius, radius squared. Or we could utilize the power function from our math header file. Let's do that instead just so we have more practice with it. Using the power function, we can raise a base to a given power. We will raise radius to the power of 2, and that will give us our area. Let's display it. I will use printf. Let's display the word area, colon, space. We'll need a format specifier. We're displaying a double. Let's use lf. Then we will display our area variable. Let's do a test run. Enter the radius. I'll say 10. The area is 314.159. You could set the precision if you would like. I'll add that here. With our format specifier, let's add 0.2 to display two digits after the decimal. The radius is 10. The area is 314.16. Now I stop there. Now let's say we have a sphere. Let's calculate the surface area of a sphere. Let's add another variable. Double surface area. I'll initialize that to be 0. Given a radius, we can calculate the surface area of a sphere. We'll assign surface area. Surface area equals, now here's the formula, 4 times pi times, we'll use the power function, raise radius to the power of 2. And then we'll display our surface area. We'll use printf, surface area. Our area is for a two-dimensional circle. Surface area will be for a three-dimensional sphere. We'll use a format specifier, 0.2 to display two digits after the decimal, LF for a double. Oh, then let's add a new line character too, before I forget. We will display our surface area variable. Enter the radius, 10. Our area is 314.16. That's if it's a two-dimensional circle. If our radius is for a three-dimensional sphere, the surface area is 1,256.64. All right, last one. Let's determine what the volume is going to be. Double volume equals 0, 0.0. We have our radius. Then we just have to calculate the volume. Here's the formula. Volume equals, within parentheses, 4.0 divided by 3.0. I'm dividing by 3.0 so we avoid integer division. Times pi times 
our radius to the power of three. We'll use the power function, radius to the power of three. Then we'll display the volume. I'm feeling lazy, I'm just going to copy this print statement. Volume, then display our volume variable. Enter the radius, I'll enter 10. Here's our area, our surface area. Oh, I misspelled volume. Column. That's not right. There we go. Let's try that again. There we go. Volume. 4188.79. And if you would like, you can add centimeters or some other unit of measurement after. You know, centimeters, centimeters, centimeters. You could even make these squared and cubed if you would like, but that might be overkill for this lesson. All right, everybody, that is a practice project where we calculate the area of a circle, as well as the surface area and the volume.